Other than being horny 24-7, what was the worst part about puberty for you? Two worst things about puberty for me was definitely my speech impediment and stuttering and my acne. Absolutely hated those two things. I think my stuttering and my ability to talk fluently uh, was a big insecurity growing up during my puberty years, and it was something that really, really made me very shy, especially like in the church environment and being homeschooled, interacting with other homeschoolers and stuff like that was my inability to want to interact because I was so self-conscious about my speech and my ability to fluently speak without sounding like an absolute stuttering moron or, for example, like Porky Pig. If you could be of any other ethnicity, like Mexican or black, which one would you be? Oh, God, I would never be Mexican. No offense to the Mexicans who watch me. Um, I would definitely be black. Black, 100% sure, because, you know, having a 9-inch nine, nine cock... That's a desirable thing I think most men would like is a 9-inch cock. So now you guys know that my cock is not 9 inches. It's significantly lower than that. Um, random question. Have you ever seen Game of Thrones or read the series A Song of Ice and Fire? It's just pretty awesome, and I was just wondering if you've seen it. Also great content. I watched the show. Sadly enough, I've tried reading the Game of Thrones books, and I find the writing style, and maybe I'm the minority here, I find the writing style, and I find... The book's just really hard to follow. Um, the way he writes and the way he transitions between all these different characters and all these different perspectives is really confusing to me. So uh, when I tried reading the books, I just found myself really confused, not sure what was going on. Um, I prefer not to read the books because, again, his writing style is just way... It's not my type of book to read, and I like reading... Um, too confusing, and I prefer the television series. You jealous, baby beard? Yeah, I am. Just a small little smidgen because I have testicle hair grow on my chin, and it's orange. But that's because I'm also very Irish. But nonetheless, I would love to have a full, you know, lumberjack beard. I don't think that will ever be a possibility, sadly enough. But yes, I am a bit jelly of your beard. Thanks for pointing out my number one insecurity is my facial hair. Way to lower my self-esteem through a fucking Snapchat video, you piece of shit. Hey, Reption. Uh, I'm a film guy. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, what is your favorite film, or one of them? Can we just completely ignore that question and focus on why the hell you're wearing a Pokemon or a Digimon? I can't tell what's on your fucking fedora. But for the love of Christ, please get rid of it. I don't care what you think on how stylish my fedora is. If you want to tilt me, you want to get me upset, Wear a goddamn fucking fedora, because I fucking hate fedoras. Especially that one looks like, I don't know, that type of fedora looks like something a school shooter would walk into a school and then shoot up a bunch of people. All the while, showing his love for Sonic. That's the message I get from that fe particular fedora, because I believe every fedora that somebody wears sends a message. A message, of course, that you not only have any style of clothing of dress. Style of clothing of dress dress clothing style, but that a fedora tells you the type of person they are based upon the design, the color, but most of all, the little symbols or characters that are on your fucking fedora. What is your opinion of knives and fedoras? If you could get a katano, would you? Yeah, sure, I'd love to get a katano. But my suggestion to you is to take that knife and lodge it in your goddamn throat right now because that's what I think of fedoras. Kill yourself. You inbred, knife-wielding fedora shithead. Glory to our new Trump right. Glory to the fatherland. Wir kämpfen für den I guess that confirms what I've always thought, that I had to have had at least a few Nazis watching me. Since this is YouTube and I have to clarify everything, no, I don't support Nazism. No, I am not a Nazi. No, just because a Nazi watches me does not mean that I think Jews should be murdered and killed. And yes, the Holocaust did happen. And yes, it was morally wrong. And yes, Hitler was a bad guy, and yes, Hitler did nothing wrong. Hitler was a guy who needed a few friends. That's all he needed. If he had a few good, close friends, some guy friends, some bros that he could talk to, I guarantee you he wouldn't have murdered the thousands of Jews that he did. So let this be a lesson to you. Reach out to the Nazis and be friends with them, because you never know what they will do if you don't extend your friendship. Hi, Daniel. It's Chelsea. I was wanting to know what your favorite childhood memory was, even if you had to grow up religious. I think my favorite childhood memory would be the days my mom, because I was a mama's boy, 
would be where my mom would say, Daniel, no school today. We're going on a field trip. And a field trip would normally involve us going on a hike for the full day. It would go to the zoo. We would do something to where I didn't do any school, and it just involved us going out, uh, me and my mom, and usually another person I knew that was homeschooled, and we would do some sort of outside activity, um, and then we would go out to eat afterwards. That was something that I always remember growing up, was going out to eat, because my mom was a stay-at-home mom who cooked homemade meals all the time, and my dad was a dad who wanted the same meal seven days a week, every single day, schedule every single Wednesday, we'd have tacos, every th single th Thursday, we'd have a soup. That's the type of meals that we would have. My dad always wanted the same sort of thing, very generic and boring type of person. However, uh, when we'd go out to eat, that was always a special occasion, because I love going out to eat, because one, I could get away from my mom's, although she was a good cook, and I know my mom's watching this, I got really tired of eating the same things every single day, every single week, every single month. It was something that certain meals that my mom cooked, I, I despise. Even now, I'm 25, if I hear the word goulash, I despise goulash. I hate goulash. I don't care if it's made by a professional chef. I don't like goulash. Just don't like it. But going out to eat with a field trip day, no school, well, that was one of the best days of my homeschooling days, but also one of the most memorable memories that I would have with my mom because it was a very big bonding experience with my mom and me. It was when she would take me out to eat. And I'm someone who, when I was a fat little 13, 14-year-old little boy, who loved stuffing my face with every fast food burger I could possibly find. What's up, Repsian? So, would you rather be a third-wave radical feminist or, um, stab your family? <laughs> huh. That's a hard question. My dad has cancer, so I'm not sure stabbing him would be the most a productive thing for me to do. However, if I was a third-wave radical feminist... The problem is, is that I'd still end up stabbing my dad with cancer and my mom because I'm a third-wave radical feminist, and if someone doesn't agree with the way I'm thinking, I'm going to end up stabbing them anyway. So, it's kind of a no-win situation. Radical feminists, I end up stabbing people. Not real radical feminists end up stabbing people. Either way, I have to stab someone, so it's a no-win situation. I hope it's not too late to ask you questions, but I would like to know... What your backup plan is if YouTube doesn't work out. Well, you see, YouTube actually isn't working out for me, yet I'm still creating content because I make very, very little ad revenue from now. So if you want to support me, support me on Patreon.com slash MrRepsion. Because last month, I only made $400 on YouTube, despite getting almost 2 million views in total. Yeah! But to answer your question, um, I'm in school right now. I'm doing welding. Uh, MIG welding, and I'm learning stick welding uh, the next quarter, so fall quarter I'll be learning stick. MIG and stick, I'm going in the trade field because that is where jobs are in demand. That type of industry is in demand constantly. It pays well, and I mean, I would love to continue doing YouTube full-time, but as of now, financially, it's turned into a hobby, so it's just something I do for fun. If I make money out of it and you guys can support me through that, awesome. If not, oh well. Probably by the end of 2000 this year, I may be completely done with YouTube, depending on where my financial position lies and what YouTube, if YouTube changes in any way. Um, so, yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, pretty high right now. Um, is my fucking nose big? Oh my god. Yeah, your nose is huge. I mean, you have a Jew nose. Like, your nose is combined with that of a Jew and that of a Neanderthal. And no, that's not a compliment in any way. I'd recommend you go to a surgeon, get it looked at, because you could definitely use a nose operation and get that downsized. Morning! My question to you is at this very point in time, what country would you hate to go to? North Korea, hands down. There was a point where I always wanted to visit North Korea, but seeing how they treat U.S. citizens and send them back and then they die in a coma, I'm not sure North Korea is a place that people should want to visit, less, much less ever go, um, because that place is a horrible, toxic regi regime that treats people as second-class citizens and is full of poverty, and they need help, but the government over there is so horrible that I don't... I would just never want to visit there unless the government changed. Hey, hey what did you do, man? Um... Have you seen the movie Chef? It's pretty good. Oh, please kill me. But yes, I have seen the movie Chef, and yeah, it was pretty good. Hey, Mr. Epsound, I have a question. Can 
can we expect nudes at 1 million subscribers? When I hit 1 million subscribers, I will release a full ass shot of me. That's probably the closest thing you're gonna get. However, if you would like some foot photos, I do sell custom foot photos, and I'm not kidding, by the way, I do sell f custom foot photos, because I found that there is a porn website that had, uh, screenshots of my feet, so I figured, why not utilize the desirability of my feet and start charging people? So if you would like a custom foot photos, uh, starting at $30 for three photos, they're very custom, and I'll even write your name on my feet if you'd like. Make sure you send an email to repproductions at mrrepsion.com, and we can get you set up on a monthly subscription plan for getting custom feet photos. And I'm not kidding at all. I'm not being sarcastic. Like, I will send you feet photos for money. I will sell you sexy things for money. I have no shame in that. I'm a college student. I need money. I need money. YouTube doesn't pay me hardly anything anymore. Patreon is practically the only thing that is able to support me in any way. So if I can show off my feet, show off my, you know, a left ass cheek for some extra dough, why the hell not? All right, since you said we can ask you anything, I'm just assuming this is still going on. Would you ever be able to date a transgender girl either before or after having her sex change operation? I get this question a lot, and I usually try to avoid answering it because it usually ends up offending people. But I've realized that on YouTube, I will offend people no matter what I say, whether it's harmless or harmful. So... Would I date someone who's trans, who's went through the surgery? The answer is, I'm open to it. It's not a definite yes, it's not a definite no. I'm open to the idea. I'm, op I'm, I'm a fairly open person, um, but what I can tell you is this. I will not date anyone who has a penis. Uh, I'm not afraid of penises. Like, I can, be in, I can be in a room, and I can be next to a guy and see his dick, and it doesn't bother me at all. But in order for me to ever date someone to have sex with somebody, they have to have the surgery. They have to not have a penis, because I'm just not attracted to penis at all. Not attracted to that genitalia. Um, as someone who has played around a little bit, just not my thing. I'm not attracted to it. I know people think that I'm bisexual because I come across somehow as bisexual, whatever the fuck that means, I don't know. But I assure you, I am not... Penises don't scare me, I don't have a problem with penises, it's just I'm not attracted to it. And being attracted to that type of genitalia is important to me. I'm also someone who values sex, and if I can't have sex with you properly without sticking it only in the butthole, I'm really not going to be really into it. That's my honest opinion, I'm open. That's all I can really say. But before we end here, I'd like to recommend an audiobook through Audible, one of the leading sites for audiobooks for your listening entertainment and enjoyment. And I recently just listened to Astrophysics in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Titan. Titan? Did I say Titan? Tyson. It's a really informational book on the universe and asking those big questions about astrophysics, space, the universe, but most of all, science. It's a very sciencey book, and it does a really good explanation on a lot of concepts that would otherwise, I think, be very complicated. And if you sign up to Audible today using my vanity URL, audible.com slash MrRepsion, you will get a one or a 30-day free trial along with a free audiobook of your choosing. I really do recommend this book because I thought it was great. You can find my vanity URL linked down below in the description, the very first link. Audible.com slash MrRepsion. Try it out today and get your free audiobook and your free trial. And one final thing, I have updated my Instagram. I've changed my Instagram handle because I'm, I'm changing my Instagram to be more professional. My new Instagram handle is ddsoulsbach, all one word. If you'd like to check out some of my photography and stuff that I'll be expanding with my photography in the near future, please check out my Instagram because it's something that I'm desperately trying to grow and make much larger because photography is a massive passion of mine, and I love being able to share my photos with the people who like them. So, thank you for watching this video, but I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Actually, I just forgot about something else. So if you like this video and you want another one of these videos made, please listen very, very carefully. My Snapchat is Repsion. R-E-P-Z-I-O-N. For the next 24 hours, when this video, when you see this video, when this video is posted on YouTube, for the next 24 hours, I will be doing video submissions for my next Snapchat video Q&A video session like I did here. Please send me a video asking me any question. It needs to be a video. Your face needs to be in it, and it has to be a video. Send me a video of you asking me any question you want in the next 24 hours to my Snapchat. It's open publicly. Anybody can send me anything. Please don't send me dick pics. You will be blocked, and you have a very high chance of being in my next Snapchat video Q&A session video thing in my bobber like this one.